G'day. And in the last of my increasingly long Fraps tutorial, we're going to cover basic sound mixing. And this is mainly used for one or two things. One is to retain your game audio, but then overlay some CD quality music from a CD. Or if you record just your game video and then you want to add a personalized commentary, but not commentary you recorded at the same time of playing. So you watch the AVI and record your voice and then mix it. So this same technique will work for both those methods, but I'm gonna show you how to do it through CD quality audio. Now the first thing we're gonna use is an application called Fubar, which is a freeware application, kind of like Winamp designed for playback of audio, but it also has some nice ripping tools in it as well. So I'm just gonna load that up. I'm just gonna to go to file, open CD and go add to playlist. Okay, so here's my CD contents and I'm gonna click on the file I want, right click on it, go convert, click on these little dots and the conversion dialog pops up. We wanna select WAV and we're just going to save it to the desktop like this. So all these settings just leave default and okay. Right. So that's done, let's get rid of this. And as you can see, we now have a WAV file of CD quality audio of that CD um, music track that we just ripped. Now what we're gonna do is load up Avid Mux and just go to that demo file from Shadowed Horizon that I showed you in the last tutorial. So I'm just gonna drag that into Avid Mux and I wanna click no to this and bang, it loads up. Now all we want to do here is extract the audio from this file. So we don't need to touch anything really. We just go to audio and click PCM, which is a WAV file, and then go to audio, save. And I'm just gonna save that to this folder and call it demo.wav. Okay, and now you can see that over here. Now I'm going to load up that program Audacity, which I told you about before. It's a freeware audio editor. And this uh, application incidentally also can record your voice if you're going to be doing an external commentary. Just hit the record button and it will record from your mic. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to drag into this window the CD audio and it comes. And I'm also going to drag into this window the demo audio. And it comes down at the bottom there. Now I'm just going to load up the view and hit mixer board. And this little thing is going to come up here. So all I need to do now is hit the play button and fiddle with these values. So this is the demo and this is the song. So we turn the demo up like the actual original AVI with all the game sounds and we'll just turn the game music down a little bit and you just fiddle with that until you get it right and we're done so now we can close that and press stop now all we need to do is we just click behind the rest of the music unless of course you know, it already fits and you've got it all timed. And you just come down here until the little thing highlights and you know you're at the end of the other file. Let go and press delete. Now all I have to do is hit file, export, and we're gonna call it demo mixed dot wav. And make sure it says wav in the save type and hit save. We don't need any tags, so we'll just OK that. OK, so that's done. Now all we need to do is load up Avid Mux again. We're going to drag in the demo, hit No. Now, we're going to leave video as copy, which means it's not going to do anything. There's no encoding, nothing. It's just going to take the video data and just copy it into a new file. But in audio, we go up to audio at the top and we go main track, 
we click on audio source and change that to external WAV and then just hit open and select demo mixed and then hit OK. So now it's taking the video from the video file but the audio from the WAV file we just made and we're just going to change that to mp3 lame and configure and turn it into 96 bit rate or you could leave it depending on what you want to do. Now I just hit file save video and I'm going to call this demo mixed dot AVI and I'm not going to speed up this encoding process I'm just going to hit save and this will be real time so as you can see it's quite quick because it's not encoding any video it's just copying the video and just doing an mp3 encoding which is actually quite quick to do nowadays okay so I'll close that and let's just compare these two files now I'll click on the demo the original And now I'll click on the mixed version. Okay, so as you can see, it's now perfectly mixed. And I'll just quickly load up Audacity again. And of course, if I hit the record button, I can now speak into this and it's just gonna record whatever I'm saying through my microphone. And I can mix this into the game sounds in the exact same way. Also, it's worth noting that in Audacity, you have a channel called Effects. And there's a lot of different effects here that you can put onto your audio. But the one that is very handy to use is fade in and fade out, which means that you can actually fade out the music. I just click on fade out and fade it in. And that way, instead of having a hard cut off, it sort of peters out quietly. And of course, you can do the same to the game sounds. Or, if you wished, after you've mixed it, it's probably a better way actually, if you, after you've mixed it, and you have it all, all in one file, then do a fade in, and a fade out. Okay, well, I hope this tutorial's been helpful, if a little long. I probably won't be doing a tutorial again, I think this is a little bit of a failed experiment. And I'll be back to video review, uh, video game reviews very soon. I've got uh, Conquest of Longbow is next. So I hope this has been helpful and uh, thanks for watching.